Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more Fortnite news. In the latest episode, yet again of accusations towards a Fortnite pro player, or at least the World Cup qualifier, that being Dubs FM. I hope you guys all enjoy. I'm going to show you why I think he is maybe not innocent, but also he's certainly not guilty based off the evidence shown so far. And it's been a common ground so far for pro players. I'm not really sure how to define Dubs in this case. And, and when it comes to Fortnite, defining pro players is very difficult, but it's been common ground so far to accuse people without showing sufficient evidence. We've seen this very recently with W7M members that being blackouts people said he was cheating and he has yet to be caught by epic so i'm going to assume like i presumed he was actually based off that evidence not cheating it's very easy in fortnite to get clips on just about any pro player out there and to think they are cheating now there's actual multiple pieces of evidence out there about dubs himself i do want to preface though as well i don't think he's personally cheating based off this evidence specifically and on top of that, he's also tweeted out himself he will be streaming future solo qualifiers if you guys need further proof and he's also come out on twitter and said he is not cheating so i'm to take his stance on this but of course i'll show you guys the evidence and why i think it is circumstantial so let's break it down first of all with the discord messages and discord altogether entirely is always going to be circumstantial because it is one of the easiest platforms to actually fake these said screenshots anyone can make an account of any name and actually set up a conversation like this although it was dated back in the day so that gives a little bit more ground to actually become real but along with that i do think it's going to be fake because first of all you can fake it in multiple ways and his own duo partner has come out and said he was never going going by the name of R Dub. He has never gone by that name on any social medias, especially Discord, and so that further backs the claim that these could be faked and of course being brought about now to apparently take him down. So I'm going to say they could be faked and are very likely circumstantial because of that reason, and his own duo partner has said he has never gone by the name which were in those Discord messages, and so for that reason only, I can't say this is 100% proof that he has apparently, according to those Discord messages, bought cheats. Now the one piece of evidence though that might be convincing is apparently him taking to a forum back in 2018 uh, actually uh, trying to buy these cheats uh, but this also is a bit skeptical because we need some responses from the forums themselves to conclude whose identity is actually behind the account and that account has ever since been deleted which brings about further con controversial points out there because we've had several pro players and friends of uh, Dubs FN come forward and say he would not be stupid enough at the time of being called out to go back and actually delete the account and then why in this case as well why would a cheater who has never been caught when he did apparently buy these cheats in 2018 why would he then buy more cheats in 2019 not everything lines up there i will say of all the evidence uh, thanks to aspect dolphin i'll link those tweets down below that was the most controversial piece of evidence out there that i was a bit iffy on because if he did buy cheats back in 2018 then he very likely could be a cheater still today but then why would he rebuy cheats if he was never caught in the first place it seems a bit controversial and then very lastly a couple clips out there and i think really people do take the word of pro players we've had a few uh, tifu especially have clips about this where they joke about even if they're joking about him cheating kids are going to watch this and then take their word and say oh tifu thinks he's cheating so do i based off the lackluster evidence there's a few clips out there i'll, I'll try and link at least one and this one especially for you guys where people are trying to explain his insane flicks uh during the world cup qualifier or insane snapbacks as well uh my one of course conflicting point first of all two of them he's a pro player he is a top north american player and any pro player is going to have insane flicks like this in their time i think you can actually bring up any pro player as well you're going to find clips that look a lot like this one and on top of that as well this guy of course it's a close combat game Fortnite itself when you have these close interactions you're going to have things that look like insane flicks and insane snapbacks and so for me I was not fully convinced by this yes it looks a bit odd but remember these are pro players these guys are trained and practiced to do these kind of plays and people also seem to forget Dubs FN maybe not be a pro by many standards out there but he is a high ranking player you look at his results take to his Twitter guys he posts all of his results Results, he is a very good player, especially in the World Cup warm up as well. He was placing very well, the Gauntlet Cup. He actually qualified for Winter Royale, and when it comes to being accused for cheating, people seem to forget all of that stuff backing him up as a very good Fortnite player. So, yes, I'm not saying he's 100% innocent, but I am certainly, based off the evidence shown so far, not calling this guy 100% guilty. So, it makes me very angry when people out there say it is confirmed. It's 100%. He has been caught hacking when he has not been caught doing anything but qualify for World Cup and as of right now we will see him in New York City. I will say one thing though thankfully also thank the Aspect Dolphin all the evidence he did bring forward. Epic is now looking at this case by case. It's a very subjective case and of course they have to look at every case uh, hopefully by an individual standard especially when this much evidence has been brought to light but Epic will find if he is actually a cheater. We will let them conclude as of right now I am leaning towards the fact he's innocent. I do believe him. I think this all this evidence out there is very circumstantial. You guys can leave your thoughts down below though. I just don't like the out 
outright condemning of a player who very well could be innocent just because he qualified for one of the biggest events in Fortnite history. But as always, I hope you guys all enjoy it. My name is Jake. If you guys did, feel free to leave a like or comment your thoughts down below. If he is cheating, if he's not cheating, we're going to find out sometime soon. And if he is and he's disqualified, well then, Lenane gets in, a very well-deserving player, and all the more power to him. But as always, I hope you guys all enjoy it. Until next time, take care.